All right, so here I am at my machine. I am already threaded with my Isacord thread and I am ready to select my design and get it all edited the way I want. So I'm gonna select actually this basic coaster. On your, your CD, if you get the CD, um, you're gonna get all four of these designs. So if, you're, if your machine cannot do some of the editing that I'm about to do, you can actually select the plain coaster and add a motif to it. But I'm gonna go into the basic coaster here in case you have a coaster design that you wanna manipulate. So we, are, we have this wonderful design right here. I'm gonna select the eye. And I need to, what I need to do first to replace that text is to break this up. So I'm going to go over here to the ungroup icon. Minus will break it apart. As you can see, all these split. I'm gonna select number three here. That's my third layer. And I need to remember that it's my third layer because I'm gonna go back one with my breadcrumbs and I'm going to throw it away. So just that is going in the trash. When I click that, oh, it's all gone. Okay, next I need to scroll up in my layers to get to where I can add to my layers. I know it's a little tricky because you couldn't see it when we first started, but it is there. We're gonna go back in our folders and I'm just gonna grab my nautical star right here. Ta-da! All right, so now I gotta make sure this is in the right order because it doesn't automatically go to three. So right here, this one, two, three, uh, whatever layer I have selected, which right now, as you can see, I have the star selected. I can move it down. And if you remember, that was in position three. And it's important within the hoop projects that I stitch things out in the correct order. So at this point, I'm going to put my hoop on and get started. Okay, so I've got my hoop ready to go. I have hooped my tearaway stabilizer. I am ready to sew, so I'm gonna to go to the needle right here. This screen can confuse people. So I have just turned my machine on and set it up the way I want it. I have not sewn anything else today, and this comes up. What it is asking for is for the hoop to be taken off so it can make sure it's in the right place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this green check. My module's gonna move. I'm gonna have this little picture on the screen. And now it's ready for me to put the hoop on. If it tells you to take the hoop off, we need to take it off hit the check, let it do its dance, and then put it back on and then green check. Now we are in the position to sew. So we're just gonna go through these steps pretty quick. Um, the first step is gonna be stitching my placement line. So I'm gonna tap that. It's gonna remind me to thread it properly, which I have, I promise. So I'm gonna hold the button down like I mean it. And once it's gone, I can let go. Okay, now that I've sewn my placement circle, it's time for me to put my cork down. To attach it to my hoop, I'm gonna use 505 Temporary Adhesive Spray, Acid-Free, No Stains, CFC, yada yada. Um, it is a very nice spray. I have put it pretty liberally on the back of this beautiful piece of cork right here, and I'm going to put that over where I cannot see any of my outline anymore, okay? Make sure that's down all the way, it's looking good. And then I'm going to stitch my next step, which is the actual outline of the coaster. Now that I have sewn my outline, it is time for me to trim around the outside here. I'm gonna take my hoop off and I'm gonna trim right up against my stitching line right here. For this step, you could have actually used a different color, something brighter, something more contrast, if you needed to. So anyway, we're gonna do the magic snip. So one, two, three. All right, now that we are nice and trimmed here, it is time to stitch our design. 
which if you know you're making one of the regular ones it'll be the the swirl or the globe effect but we're gonna just go ahead and stitch this right now it's my nautical star Okay, everybody, so we have stitched out my five-pointed star. I should point out that I digitized this uh, with the Bernina embroidery software, and we do have a new version coming out very soon, which will make a lot of this detail a lot easier. Anyway, um, the next step on this design is another outline, and you're like, why? Oh, it's because we need to put the felt, our felt pad, on the back of our coaster. Uh, for, this, for this particular step, I do really like to have my table on my machine, and I like to have it because it's going to help hold this against the back of the hoop. So I have used my 505 temporary adhesive spray to put my felt square on the back of the hoop here. I'm going to flip it over, line it back up, reattach. Always make sure that your hoop is attached firmly and... Um, that you put it down horizontal so that it goes right on there. As you can see, I can see my felt kind of through here. I just want to feel it with my hand to make sure that it is nice and flat before I stitch that outline. Okay, friends, we are ready. Our next step is actually the satin stitching, which is going to finish our coaster. But remember, we have a felt square on the back. So I am going to take my hoop off my machine, flip it over, and as you can see, you can see my outline here. And we are going to, once again, magically trim our square. So one, two, three, ta-da! Wouldn't it be great if it went that fast for real? Okay, so I am going to turn this over. And when I am done doing that satin stitch, all I do is tear it out of the hoop and I am finished. All of my waste is just uh, the stabilizer, which in this case is Ultra Clean and Tear, which is a paper product, so it's not so bad. And I will tell you that I have changed thread colors. So I now have a gold and I have a matching bobbin because I'm gonna see this on the back, okay? And if I'm going too fast for you, if these directions go too quick, just remember that you can get the directions for this club on a CD that you can play at home. If you don't have a computer with a CD drive, you can always get an external one. Like I did, mine's external. I just plug it into my USB port. Okay, and I am all done stitching. And I know that because this screen has the checkered flag. That's how you know you're done. Or we can make this into a border, but I don't know why we would want a coaster border. Hmm. Anyway, so I'll press done, which takes me back to the beginning of my design. And I'm just gonna simply remove this hoop and tear the coaster out. I could have used a black tear away, um, but what I will do is just get this just a little wet and it will come right off. And the cork can get wet. Don't wash it in the washing machine, but it can uh, handle some uh, spot cleaning, of course. And now I have a lovely gift for friends or a great place to put my soda. 
before while I am sewing. Except, please don't put your soda next to your sewing machine. It's just a recipe for disaster, so, so don't do that. But anyway, they make super great presents, and I know this year buying gifts is going to be a little rough, so you can make them at home, of course. And like I said, cork is a very easy... Uh, material to work with it's very very lovely um, and we have we have a tiny bit so um, let us know if you're interested I know this year it's gonna be a little rough for to get gifts for people um, they're saying that you know we're gonna have some problems with our our stuff so it's a great time to make presents for people and these are wonderful gifts they go really fast as you can see this design only took about six minutes um, it took a little bit longer for me to talk through it and to, um, you know, position my fabrics and that sort of thing, but it's really not difficult. And like I said, all these fuzzies come off when you uh, just rub it with, with a little bit of sandpaper or um, a wet sponge. Um, and it's just, it's just looks so good. They're so clean. Anyway, all of the instructions are on the CD, which of course, if you shared a show and share, you get a free CD. Um, if not, um, you can get the entire month for $10 um, with all the instructions from Bernina Club, Embroidery Club, and Software Club. So anyway, we look forward to seeing you in the shop. Remember, club days, you get 20% off, so hopefully you stop on by. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later.